in Los Altos, California, standing outside the NFT ASCA showroom. Now, right inside there, today for the first time, they're starting to take pre-orders for the ASCA flying car. Let's go inside, take a look. Here on the edge of Silicon Valley, anyone with $5,000 can get in line for one of these. Obviously, we're just looking at a scale model here, but Startup NFT, which by the way, is not related to non-fungible tokens, says by 2026, they'll be delivering up to 1,500 ASCA flying cars ready for the road and the skies. So we started the company is to solve the problem of cost of living. Founder Guy Kaplinsky started NFT with his wife three years ago. The idea isn't to compete with a lot of the flying taxis we talk about on this channel, like Joby or Bell Nexus. The ASCA, which means flying bird in Japanese, is meant to be a single transportation solution. Air Taxi and us is a complementary service. It's like a bus compared to a car. So you park it in your house and you're getting on and get to your final destination with one vehicle, so you don't need to change. ASCA can utilize a very small airport where we don't need terminals, where we don't need a lot of space for landing. Kaplinsky says the ASCA will be the size of a large SUV, so it can fit in most garages. The idea is people who live outside major cities could drive to small airports, then fly themselves over traffic to city centers or really any other destination within ASCA's 250 mile range. Fully unfolded, the ASCA has a 50 foot wingspan. Six batteries power those six propellers with gas motors keeping them charged. The ASCA can take off vertically like a helicopter, it just needs a space of about 65 square feet, but it can also take off using a more traditional runway, and that requires 30% less power, which increases the flight range. And the million dollar question, of course, is how much does one of these actually cost? Well, not a million dollars, but not far off, at least for now. That $5,000 deposit goes towards a $789,000 price tag for those first 1,500 limited edition vehicles. Now, that price includes pilot license training. Kaplinsky expects Asuka's in a second production line will cost around $589,000, followed by a mass production where the vehicles will cost $359,000. And that's where he says the math starts to work in the consumer's favor. This vehicle enable people to move from city center where you have housing will cost a million dollar and you can move to the suburb 100 miles 150 miles where to a villa you buy a villa for three hundred thousand dollars and yes pre-orders are actually starting to come in we talked to a few customers who were first in line to put down those deposits i just remember when i was a kid and watching cartoons like the jetsons and going wow flying cars that's awesome Never thought I'd see it, and now the future is now. Here it is. I think it's a little bit like buying a, you know, a beautiful high-end sports car or something. I mean, I just think it's going to be fantastic and fun. And I could still be riding around in a horse and buggy, but I, I think that this may be the next move, and I'm ready. Just a few years ago, rather, people would say, how can I get into a car with a stranger, and that stranger will drive me somewhere, right? I need a taxi. And today, we drive an Uber, right? And people with self-driving cars, they say, you know, how can I take my hands off the wheel? You know, it's, it's really, really scary. And today people do it, you know, in many, many, many cars already on the market. So I think it's kind of similar. You can't really stop progress. So it's actually very exciting to be part of it. As with any new flying vehicle, there's a ton of regulatory red tape that still has to be cleared before this actually becomes a reality. But it's worth noting that NASA selected the NFT in ASCA to be part of its air mobility campaign to promote public confidence in technologies like this. Kaplinsky says they plan to start test flights of a full-scale aircraft sometime next year.